energy ministers of Nigeria, Algeria, and Niger have signed an agreement to restart the massive gas pipeline investment project that will enable Europe to tap directly into the three countries' significant natural gas reserves. The Declaration of Niamey Agreement was signed during the third edition of the Economic Communities of West African States Mining and Petroleum Forum in Niamey on 16 February this year. Endorsed by Chief Timipur Silva, Nigeria's Minister of State for Petroleum Resources, Ma Money, Sani Mao Madu, Minister of Petroleum, Energy and Renewable Energies for the Republic of Niger, and Mohamed Arkab, the Minister of Energy and Mines in Algeria. This agreement will see the development resumption of the Trans-Saharan Gas Pipeline project. The gas pipeline of 4,128 kilometers will link Wari in Nigeria to Hassi Armel in Algeria, passing through Niger. Once completed, the pipeline will carry 30 billion cubic meters of natural gas yearly from Nigeria, Algeria, and Niger to European markets via Algeria's strategic Mediterranean cost, as well as supply inland stations along its route. The pipeline will enable Europe to tap directly into the three countries' natural gas reserves, thus diversifying its supply in the wake of the current energy crisis, while creating critical sources of revenue for African gas markets. According to a report by Algerian Daily El Jazer in September last year, head of Algerian state-owned oil firm Sonatrach, Tufik Hakkar revealed in an interview that much of the preliminary stages, which include project layout and route specifications, have been completed by the Algerian state-owned oil firm Sonatrach, but are yet to reach a compromise with the involved nations. However, with the new agreement signed, the pipeline, which links to the international Medgaz pipeline, is set to take off. The grandiose Trans-African Gas Pipeline is an ambitious project that was conceptualized in the 1970s to ease gas conveyance from Nigeria to Algeria, as well as expand and variegate European Union's gas supplies. The project, however, hit a hiatus due to inhibitions from green activists, calling for the preservation of Niger's, River Delta, and militant organizations, threatening the crew members who will be working on the gas pipelines. However, the project only witnessed progress on the 14th of January 2002 as the Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation and Sonatrach signed a memorandum of understanding towards the preparation of the project. In June 2005, a feasibility study was deemed necessary as NNPC and Sonatrach outsourced a project study contract to Pensman Limited, whose findings in 2006 proved the pipeline's competent technicality, reliability, and potential economical assertiveness. With the initiative set in motion, NNPC and Sonatrack agreed to move forward with the draft memorandum of understanding uniting the governments of the nations in a joint venture agreement at a meeting on February 20, 2009, with Nigeria, Niger, and Algeria's energy ministers finally signing the aforementioned treaty on the pipeline on July 3, 2009 in Abuja. The project, however, did not move forward as planned in the 2009 agreement due to safety concerns and regional instability. Route and technical features The pipeline will start in the Wari region in Nigeria and run north through Niger to Hassi Armel in Algeria. In Hassi Armel, the pipeline will connect to the existing Trans-Mediterranean, Maghreb Europe, Medgaz and Galsi pipelines. These supply Europe from the gas transmission hubs at El Kala and Beni Saf on Algeria's Mediterranean coast. The length of the pipeline would be 4,128 kilometers, with 1,037 kilometers in Nigeria, 841 kilometers in Niger, and 2,310 kilometers in Algeria. The annual capacity of the pipeline would be up to 30 billion cubic meters of natural gas. The pipeline, which was originally expected to be operational in 2015, would have a diameter of 1,220 to 1,420. The original investment for the pipeline is expected to be around $10 billion and for gas gathering centers around $3 billion. According to the Declaration of Niamey Agreement that was signed this year, much of the estimated $13 billion pipeline cost will be spent in Niger, acting as a much-needed boost for the already growing energy sector and the wider economy. It will also enable Niger to monetize its own gas reserves estimated at 34 billion cubic meters, with recoverable reserves of 24 billion cubic meters. 
Niger already has experience in driving transnational energy infrastructure projects. Its 2011 completed Zinder-based 20,000 barrels per day refinery supplies the entire region with petroleum products. Niger currently exports refined products to countries in the sub-region, including Nigeria, Mali, and Burkina Faso. Through the completion in 2023 of the niger benin pipeline, from the prolific Agadam Basin in Niger to the Cotonou Terminal off the coast of Benin, Niger will increase its current production from 20,000 to over 120,000 barrels per day. The $2.2 billion pipeline will unlock an additional $3 billion in field development investments by the Chinese major CNPC, which is the operator of the Agadam Discoveries. Niger aims to become a hub for hydrocarbons, petrochemicals and associated products in West Africa, and the Trans-Saharan Pipeline projects only serves to enhance this trend. It was previously reported that the Trans-Saharan Natural Gas Consortium will function as the operator with a triad of shareholders, with 45% shares in Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation, 10% shares in the Republic of Niger, and Sonatrac SBA of Algeria, with 45% shares. A host of conglomerates including India's Gale, and ESPA from Italy, France's Total SA, and the Royal Dutch Shell have flirted with cooperating with the project previously, however, Gazprom Gas Company from Russia was said to be the first to initiate contact with Nigeria in a bid to lays on the project. Last year, Nigeria and Morocco also signed an agreement to revive the Nigeria-Morocco gas pipeline project. The gas pipeline was first proposed in a December 2016 agreement between the Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation and the Moroccan National Board of Hydrocarbons and Mines. The pipeline would be an extension of the existing West African gas pipeline, which runs from Lagos, Nigeria, connecting to Kotnu in Benin, Lomi in Togo, and Tema and Takaradi in Ghana with the rest of the coastal West African countries, and ending at Tanya in Morocco. In August 2017, Nigeria and Morocco began a feasibility study for the pipeline estimated to cost $25 billion, which would be completed in stages over 25 years. Morocco is reportedly pushing Nigeria to pursue this pipeline rather than the Trans-Saharan gas pipeline, arguing that the latter would have to pass through a region with significant militant activity. Last year, the Algerian Minister of Energy Abdel Majid Attar also attacked the Morocco-Nigeria initiative describing it as an imaginary political project. In a report by Jewing Independent, Attar argued that the project is inoperative due to technical constraints. According to the minister, such a project would require affording a financial contribution to each of the states involved as the pipeline route passes through many countries. The Algerian official defended his country's proposed pipeline project, saying that it would link the two countries via a single destination, which is Niger. In December 2021, the news outlet Adelaar.com reported that Mansur Mutter, representative of the Islamic Development Bank, along with the vice president of the bank and Nadia Feta, representing the Moroccan government and minister of economy and finance, accompanied by Amina Benkadra, director general of the Office of Hydrocarbons and Mines, held a virtual meeting in which agreements were signed to finance the front-end engineering design study that will allow the gas pipeline between Nigeria and Morocco to finally become a reality. The new study aims to analyze the conditions required for the creation of this gas line, and if it is finally viable, will cost an estimated $90.1 million. The financing of the study according to the report will be by the Islamic Development Bank, the Moroccan and Nigerian governments. So far, it seems Nigeria has an agreement with both Algeria and Morocco for a gas pipeline project. However, it is unclear when construction work will take off. During the signing of the Declaration of Niamey Agreement this month, a task force was set up during the meeting with an aim and obligation to meet frequently to work together towards this direction and also to speed up the implementations of the commitments made by the three stakeholders for the Trans-Saharan Gas Pipeline project. During the just-ended meeting, Mr. Mohamed Arkab, who is the Minister of Energy and Mines in Algeria, revealed that the Trans-Saharan Gas Pipeline project's success will see the gains in growth and development of the regions where the gas pipeline will cross. He also added that the holding of the Niamey meeting was proof of the excellent cooperation and partnership between African countries.
If you enjoyed this video, make sure to watch also the next video on your screen, which looks into nine impressive ongoing and upcoming gas pipeline projects in Africa. As always, subscribe to our channel for more exciting topics about trends and developments in Africa.